of dog library. Take a stick, leave a stick. Don't be easy, don't be poor, don't be ugly. <laughs> don't you think I'm trying? <laughs> Straight from Jesus himself? All right, get in besties. We're going shopping. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia and I'm hoping to take you on just an afternoon of book shopping at my local Goodwill. When I first moved here, this Goodwill was popping with the books, I swear. I found so many book of the month books that people were donating. I found a lot of trendy books. Like I got my copy of My Rest and Relaxation here as well as Big Friendship. But lately, whoever was donating those books, I hope they're doing well but they must have moved away <laughs> because my goodwill has not been hitting with the book finds lately i did bring a stack of books with me to try and hit up some free little libraries around here we'll see if they have anything good if not at least i got to get out of the house i did four loads of laundry today <laughs> so thank you so much for coming along with me my goodwill has two aisles in it the first book that caught my eye was the wife between us i was gonna pick up this thriller but i've heard that it depicts polyamory in a negative light so i just decided that it probably wasn't for me i found this adorable santa claus book <laughs> And this is just an example of how I can find trendy books. Like this is a book of the month pick, but these are few and far between at this point. Just another aisle. There was Life of Pi down there. There's a Rick Riordan book. I've got some options, definitely. I picked up Home Fire just because the cover is genuinely so beautiful. Internationally acclaimed for her riveting and ambitiously imagined novels, here Camilla Shamesy explores how secrets and family loyalty can both bind lives together and threaten to spin them out of control. Searing and suspenseful, Homefire asks, what sacrifices will we make in the name of love? That looks so interesting. There's lots of historical fiction. Look, AP chemistry. Don't miss that kind of stuff. <laughs> There's also lots of political biographies, which is not my cup of tea. All of the lives we never lived. Okay, let's see, this looks interesting. Let's see, I don't know. This looks kind of interesting, but let me good read it. Deacon King Kong, I don't know. Secrets of the Tulip Sisters. That's cute. I want a tulip sister. <laughs> Empty Planet, the shock of the global population decline. See, something terrifying like that? I don't know if I'm mentally ready to read that. Let's see. See, lots of like fantasy stuff like this, they never really catch my eye. I haven't really delved at all into fantasy, but I kind of want to. Yeah, and if I didn't have my own copy, I would absolutely pick this up. But the audiobook is also 32 hours long, so I don't know if I want to do that. Gone in the dark. One woman's obsessive search for the Golden State Killer. See, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I will not be buying that. I especially try my best to only pick up books that I have recognized or that I've been purposely looking for, um, especially because you can find a lot of older books on Libby for free, and I already have a billion books on my physical TBR that I haven't touched so I try my emphasis on the word try because <laughs> it's not always successful see like I need the first Harry Potter I'm trying to find the Harry Potter books in hardcover at the Goodwills one in four are the only ones I'm missing I'm trying to buy it used so I don't support she who must not be named <laughs> one of the best books I've ever read in my life Oh my gosh, I was looking at this one, but this one is literally just called Banana. The fate of the fruit that changed the world. That is such a compelling cover. <laughs> it makes me want to read it. I was actually allergic to bananas for a very long time. <laughs> I couldn't eat them. They would make my throat swell up and I would get really, really itchy. But I just forced myself to eat so many bananas that I'm no longer allergic. Fast paced and highly entertaining. Banana takes us to the forefront of the controversial collision between food and science. Okay, that does sound very interesting. Oh my god, I literally just saw this. Nice is just a place in France. 
Don't be easy. Don't be poor. Don't be ugly. <laughs> don't you think I'm trying? <laughs> Not the Jimmy Fallon. Diana Gabaldon. These books. I bought the first one of the series at this same Goodwill several months ago. And I found out there are like 15 books in the series and the series isn't finished yet. So then I just gave it away. <laughs> that is far too much commitment. <laughs> I thought this said the other turds. <laughs> The Haunting of Sunshine Girl. Uh, no, that's scary. Ooh, Maggie O'Farrell. The Vanishing Act of Esme Lennox. Lennox. Mm -mm, that looks spooky. But Maggie O'Farrell is very, very good. This is a sick cover. Hero by Perry Moore. Oh, Paramore. <laughs> that's funny. I've heard so many good things about this book, but every time I try and pick up the audiobook, the accent is just so jarring, I always stop reading it, but I've heard this is really good. Ooh. Did I see someone on booktube reading this? Was it Sarah Caroli? Is Was this the book? Straight from Jesus himself? But this movie is so good. It makes me cry. Oh, hello. It makes me cry every single time I watch it. That was fun having a camera attached to me. I could finally have someone to share my random thoughts with. I actually ran into this very kind teenager <laughs> in the middle of the aisle. I was literally speaking to the camera. She walked in and then I froze up and I looked at her and she looked at me and she immediately left. <laughs> I'm sorry if that was you. I hope you went back and you found... A book that you like i hope i hope you went back and you got that banana book the only book that i did decide to pick up was home fire the cover oh my bleep the cover my general rule of thumb is if i'm in a goodwill i justify buying books that i've heard of before online or i've seen a lot about but if it's a book that piques my interest that i haven't heard before i will go on goodreads and if it has higher than a four star rating i'll typically pick it up i know that the goodreads rating system can be super jacked because there are some books on there that do not deserve as high of ratings as it gets that's just my system i will definitely let you guys know how i like this it was only three dollars and now we will head out to some free little libraries i just pulled up to my first free little library it's in this adorable little park there's this playground there's a table boom free little library and then a wholesome little bench and that's it as for the books I decided to be donating, The Forever Summer by Jamie Brenner. I haven't read it. I think I got it at a library sale, but I just decided it really wasn't a book that I'm interested in reading. And then ugh, I am an Animal Crossing girly through and through. The GameCube and the DS version are embedded in my bloodstream. So I actually bought one of those like Target gift sets with like fuzzy socks and a blanket. And it came with this adorable little journal. Look how wide that space is this is meant for a literal child so i hope that a cute little kiddo who likes journaling um can find use in that Let's see what we've got Ooh, moms who drink and swear <laughs> this is gonna be me in the future <laughs> got some mary Kay andrews it wouldn't be a free little library without some mary Kay andrews girls night in this is a ginormous book oh my god and the exact opposite of Girls' Night In, but same, you know, girth. Why would I use that word? Same thickness. The Winds of War. Some kids' books. Astrophysics for babies. That is so adorable. See, okay, I will put this journal right in here, so hopefully someone will find it and enjoy it. Oh my god. The Berenstain Bears. Stop. Berenstain Bears or Berenstain Bears? Comment below if you believe that the butterfly effect is real or that collectively we all just have shitty memory because i swear i would have remembered if it was baron stain or would i <laughs> okay well i'll just throw this in here thank you free little library you're very high quality this is so cute harry potter inspired wow okay Ooh, pretty magonia oh that is friggin beautiful Am I saying that right? 
what is that about oh my god that is so pretty magical high-flying refreshing and literally out of the blue fantasy maybe i'll start my fantasy journey with this butte oz's journey pulls her deep into the questions of home of love of self and of just what it means to find them all definitely take this one i'm gonna leave a copy of the kite runner because mwah, love that book let's see and then I found this one. Oh gosh, look how shimmery it is. This is the cutest little library I've ever seen. We've got a hue and free little library. And then they brought <laughs> a dog library. Take a stick, leave a stick. That is so, so adorable. And then you got the bench to just tie it all together. Oh my God. Mwah compliments to the book chef compliments to the reader you know what i mean like wow i feel like that made my day this made my day really it did okay boom amy tan getting off to a good start valley of amazement the joy luck club was insanely good i also decided that i'm going to leave things you save in a fire by Catherine center i liked this book enough to give it four stars i think three or four stars it's a cute little romance they're both firefighters and she's like this badass bitch i actually really like her as a main character but I don't think I like it enough to keep it. I think someone else can enjoy it more. Some James Patterson up in here. Nevada Bar, Bloodler. That's spooky. You you in the jean jacket, you gotta go back in there, man. There we go. Power. More James Patterson. Oh my gosh, a guest book. Can elephants drink through their noses? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Just riding on my bike. Sipped some water. My thirst quench <gasps> This is gonna make me start crying. Oh my gosh. I will leave a note. I said, thanks for absolutely making my day with your dog library. I love the atmosphere you've curated. It's very peaceful and a great place to relax. So I hope Mary finds some joy in that note. <laughs> I found so much joy at her little bench. I'm gonna steal this idea from her. I do really want a free little library when I'm older and I have my own home. That's like on my bucket list. I need to have a free little library. I was meant to come to this specific library today because this is how I found the library. And if you just slide this in right at the top, it fits in perfectly. And then I'll put the guest book front and center. Oh my God. What a joy. I, come on, let's be real. I absolutely judged books by their covers today and I have no regrets. These are just so eye-catching. From the Goodwill, I got Home Fire, which is by Camilla Shamesy. Internationally acclaimed for her riveting and ambitiously imagined novels, here Camilla Shamesy explores how secrets and family loyalty can both bind lives together and threaten to spin them out of control. Searing and suspenseful, Homefire asks, what sacrifices will we make in the name of love? Oh, that sounds so good. From one of the little libraries, I picked up Magnoa, Magonia, Magonia. Magonia. Why is that so hard for me to say? Aza is lost to our world and found by another, Magonia. Above the clouds in a land of trading ships, Aza is not the weak and dying thing she was. In Magonia, she can breathe for the first time. Better, she has immense power and she can use it to change the world. Oh, that's very YA. <laughs> That's a very YA fantasy. As she navigates her new life, Aza discovers that war is coming. Magonia and Earth are on the cusp of a reckoning. In Aza's hands lies the whole of humanity, including the boy who loves her. Where do her loyalties lie? Oh, okay, I'm so excited. I might be a little too old for this kind of writing. This is giving me very Mockingjay vibes. That's all I have today. I, I just wanna say thank you so much and I hope that everyone has an amazing week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.